I'm Scotty Gange, and it's time for the... It is a good day to have a great day. Hi, everybody. I'm Scotty Gange. And you know what? Today might have been the goodest day to have the greatest day, really. We've got championship action from every single classification in our state. The greatest high school hoopers and a little bit of magic, too. Eh, kind of. Check out the wizard. Hi, Mr. Wizard. Windsor Mullen. Here's the undefeated Windsor, Samantha Darnell, to Michaela Moore for the speedy score. The defending champs, Mullen. Here's Amani Perez to Evanitz Gutierrez. Windsor, hey, they played real tough. Jolie Jiracek to Alexis Backus for three, but Mullen, they pulled away. Kyla Freelon to Hannah Giacomin. Back at ya, Mustangs. They win by six. They're the 4A champs again. Tears of joy, you know, I don't think I've cried tears of joy that much in my life. <laughs> but it's just, it's finally come to an, an end, but it's a great way to end it. Nobody's beating Lewis Palmer. Cameron Lowe inside for the score. They win the 4A title by eight. Oh my God, <laughs> we did it. <laughs> yeah! For your 5A girls, basketball championship, Chessa style. And it was a wonderful day for Grandview. Lauren Betts inside. Fire me up, Lauren. Senior Mariah Hudgens with the electricity, too. Grandview, the Wolves, they dominated the 5A championship game. How awesome is this? Lauren and sister Sienna Betts on top together. It's a party for the Wolves. They're getting their championship rings as number one in Colorado. This is the way I wanted to end it, and I just, you know, to do it with my sister and my best friends, it's just the best way to go out. I cannot believe this is happening right now. Hey, go Wolves. <laughs> Thunder Ridge, Fossil Ridge in the 5A title game, and Zach Keller stole the show with the hammer dunk. Grizzlies, they go back to back. Time for a selfie and a trophy, too. How does it feel holding the trophy right now? Uh, it feels pretty good. But I'm kind of used to it now. Okay. 1A ball, defending champs, Flatirons Academy and Briggsdale. How about Kenley Durrell, the spin move? Let's go, Kenley. You deserve that smile. The Bison, they go back to back, win by nine, our state champions again. It was just so amazing. So we have an amazing team. We worked so hard for this moment. And to do it two times in a row, it's just awesome. It's just amazing. Sanford Holyoke, how about Holyoke's Kristen Wieselmeyer working it inside. They win the 2A state championship by five, and that trophy is all for them. It's, it's indescribable. Every single person on our team played a role tonight. We have an amazing community that came to support us. It's just a dream come true. One A boys title game, Marino and McClave. Here's Marino's Tyler Miller inside to Derek Albert for points. But hey, the McClave Cardinals are incredible. Here's Aiden Martinez, the acrobatic score. Okay, they win by 25 and are state champs. It's Aspen's Shea Corpola with the throwdown. The skiers, they finish the season 27 and 0, undefeated. Win by 10, our 3A state champs. Perfect Platte Valley, here's Bree Bunting inside to Cassie Ridings for the points. Hey, they win by 20 points, finish the season 26-0. The Platte Valley Broncos are 3A state champs. 2A boys, Yuma, Sanford, here's Big Bo Tate battling inside. Fire me up, Bo, the fist pump too. They win by 16, Yuma does, in front of the entire town. They're the 2A state champs. I'm overwhelmed with excitement, happiness, it's been a really long run from eighth grade with these boys, and we finally did it. I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. These boys are amazing. These coaches are amazing. This town is amazing. We have everyone behind us. It's kind of that bittersweet time now. We have to say bye bye to the winter sports season. But hey, good vibes only, right? Spring sports season has already started. We'll get to celebrate that as early as next week. Hey, I'm Scotty Gange, and we'll see you then, right here on the Nine News Prep Rally.